We've now moved into autumn, so we've started March, and it's interesting to watch how dry it still is across Victoria. Central Victoria, Western Victoria is still as dry as it's been through all of January, February. There's been no rain, uh, no rain of significance, which tells us we've got to be careful. The days actually start to get shorter, uh, and that means that obviously the fire risk is reduced. However, we've got to be real, really careful about um, what the conditions bring. This week, for example, we see um, increased fire danger ratings in some parts of the state on Tuesday and Wednesday due to the fact that there's drier air. Um, temperatures are up a little bit and the wind in increases in speed. So we need to be really careful about that and obviously uh, stay attuned to the fact we could still have fires that do run and do do damage, so there's no doubt about that. Uh, it's also interesting to see that we've still got the East Gippsland fires burning, although they're only burning in some areas and there's been significant work done in the last, uh, last week about bringing them to, to somewhat of containment. Uh, and although it's still large in size, the areas of most concern are only in small parts but have potential. And for all uh, Victoria, everyone knows about the fire that's in the Hazelwood mine. Still burning. We believe we've still got another seven days. So certainly by around about the 10th or the 11th of March is the control strategy. We're very careful when we say that though, because with weather conditions, we could see all of the good work that's been achieved over the last, particularly over the last four days, could be lost one afternoon if the wind speeds are up and the fire expands and extends in, in its area of uh, of the burn, burnt area of coal. Um, that fire in itself is really interesting in the sense the fire is not seen by the community. There's, all the community sees is smoke, it smells, and it's obviously got ash that's falling um, from time to time. And those in Moorwell, you've got to say, it's frustrating, there's no doubt about that. Anyone that lives in Moorwell, it's very frustrating for the sense it's now in its third, heading into its fourth week of fire operations. Um, a lot of work's been done around the community uh, volunteer and career staff from multiple organisations, you know, volunteers um, reaching across Victoria, not only from CFA, uh, Red Cross, Council of Churches, uh, it goes on to the organisations that have been supporting not only the response but the, the, the relief, uh, moving into recovery and also what they've uh, done with some of the areas to be relocated. So that's real critical uh, and we'll keep at it and we'll keep close to the Moorwell community because they need that level of support. Um, the other things that happens obviously this week is a long weekend and obviously a lot of recreation, a lot of uh, sporting activities, a lot of major events across Victoria and uh, that means a lot of people will be on the roads and travel. So again the message will be out about uh, travelling, the message will be out about campfires, it'll be out about people doing the right thing in still very dry conditions but we think fairly uh, mild fire, fire conditions over the weekend which we welcome but that doesn't mean a small fire couldn't still start and, uh, and cause someone some grief. And the other one, as we move into March, is uh, DEPI will reactivate their planned burns program. That is, small burns that are well planned to put in place to reduce the, the, uh, the hazard. So it's a hazard reduction program. And uh, that will be uh, kicked off only in small fires, but certainly um, focused fires in some parts of Victoria. So stay tuned um, to where DEPI is planning for those. Uh, and obviously that, that's part of their website and part of their notification process. So it's still a busy week, um, but we certainly welcome the fact that summer's behind us and we've moved into a new season with autumn in front of us, but a very dry autumn.